Hey folks, Steve again here with you once more. What's going on? Tonight, we are going to do a layered project. And when I say layered, that means more than one layer, obviously. Uh, we are going to... Didn't like that. We are going to uh, do a base layer, which is just the outline of the object. A filled in outline, you'll see. And then uh, a cut layer on top of that, and then we're gonna paint them and glue them together. Uh, before we do that, we're going to talk about some youtube -y stuff. Uh, we're almost to 100 subscribers now. I think we were over 80 last I looked. Almost 90, I think. So that's pretty good, and I want to thank each and every one of you. Uh, if you're not a subscriber, go ahead and do that now. It's down there somewhere. Uh, make sure you hit the bell notification as well. Uh, leave us a comment down below. Let us know how we're doing. Uh, if you are interested in your own Glowforge, and you need a link to get to it, there is one down below, and that'll save you up to $500, and it'll give us a little bonus, too. It's a referral link for us. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and head right on over to app.glowforge.com. This is our starting page every time we do something. Uh, this time, we are going to just hit New Design, and I am going to show you how to just drag and drop an item in to... Um, Okay, click. There we go. I drag and drop an item in. Uh, so these are my downloads. It's real easy. Drag and drop. Pretty easy. Uh, nothing to it. And then the design will come up. Now obviously that is very big. So we are going to make the, si uh, the size smaller. Another very intricate one. Uh, we want this to be 7.5 inches tall. And I hit a button somewhere, so it didn't work right. There we go. 7.5. And we're going to pull this up here. We need to uh, focus our material, of course, before we do much of anything. This is just some birch that we got at the uh, hardware store. Home Depot, probably, if I remember correctly. It's in there a little crooked, but that's okay. It doesn't really matter. Um, eighth inch birch, I believe. As soon as it's done focusing, let's go ahead and select that. We don't have to wait for the focus, really. Um, we can go over here to create outline. You, you know, you guys know if watching this channel that I like this feature a lot uh, because it does a lot of things. But this time, we're going to use it to make the background. Um, we don't want 0.25. We want 0.1. I tried a point zero, and it was just a bit smaller. So I'm not sure if we want a point zero. Let's try point zero one, and it'll be just on the outside. There we go. If you do point zero, it'll be. It seems to me that it cuts a little bit less. But you, if you're doing this on your own, please try your own settings. Don't just trust what I say. Every everybody's uh, thing is different. There we go. We can take that apart, and now we got a cut line. So. It'll be this whole piece in here that what we want. It'll get painted green. This will get painted white. And this will go on top of that when we're done. So a pretty easy project tonight. Uh, I'm not sure where she got this particular one. But it was just a download in PDF form. Uh, if you didn't know, PDFs do work in uh, here. They're just another type of vector, really. Uh, if you do this as a JPG, which we originally had, you can only engrave. So you want to make sure... We want to use as little as this board as possible. You want to make sure that you are you're doing PDF or SVG or some other format that is a vector uh, if you want to cut uh, because the other JPGs and whatever else, uh, they, they don't do that. So, All right, we're going to go ahead and do our settings over here. Um, with this particular material, we want cut. I've noticed that we need to be around the 170 range and obviously full power. 170 is a slower range. We're not masking this and the reason we're not masking it is because we're painting it anyway. So if it gets scorched a little bit on the top or the bottom, it doesn't matter. We're not uh, doing the bottom, but if we were, it doesn't matter. We're not painting the backside of this is what I'm trying to say. 
All right, so then we go to this one, and we want a cut, and we want the same speed. So the same material, 170 and full. It seems a little slow, and it is. This is going to take approximately, probably, 15 minutes or so, uh, but it's okay. Uh, it doesn't matter which one of these goes first, so we don't have to worry about moving them around or anything. Uh, because they're both cuts. If they were engraves, I would put the engrave on the top. I need to put that down just a hair. There we go. They are touching. We don't want that. I moved it over with the arrow keys. Okay, we're ready to hit the print button and see what it gives us. Fourteen minutes. I was close. I want to hide this for a second just to make sure. Okay, I am on the right area here as long as it's showing on the board we're good to go I'm gonna switch your cameras here we're gonna hit the magic button let's show you the magic button this time and right there it is so that is the magic button as you can see right next to the magic button if I'm masking I use one of these this is a Cricut branded I do however have um, the, the one from the Dollar Tree which works just as well uh, so whichever one I grab at the time this works really well for uh, putting your masking on and flattening it out. And please do that. Uh, the other things up here are just some notes and a toothbrush maybe for a future project. We'll see. So when we do this and I say I'm hitting the magic button, this is your magic button. So we're going to go ahead and hit that. And we'll switch the camera up so you guys can see what's going on. All right, folks, looks like it's done. Uh, looks like it's a little close on that one edge there, but we're going to check it out. If that's the case and it's not right, I will cut another one off camera and just use that. I'm not going to make you watch that all over again, but it looks pretty cool. Uh, we're going to go get it out of there. So this is non-proof grade material. Uh, as you can see, it left all those little pieces in there. Every single one of them, except two little tiny ones that I'm pulling out now. I'll show you. They fell out. Never mind. <laughs> Every one of them fell out. But as you can see, 
Uh, it did cut a little close on that one edge. I don't know how easy that is to tell. So we're not going to use this outer piece. I'll just cut another one. The inner piece cut real nice. So we'll use that. <clears throat> uh, I'm not using the non-proof grade material. And sometimes it's a little warped. In ca this case it was. Oh, look at that. You could just leave it just like that and that would be nice. But uh, I'm using the non-proof grade material and sometimes it gets a little warped and when you set your focus it doesn't exactly get it right. And that was the case here I believe. When I set my focus, where I set my focus was a different height than you know camera wanted it to be and so it cut it a little off. So I, on my non-proof grade from materials from now on I'm not going to get that close to the edge. However, we're okay. I'm going to go ahead and cut another one. I'm going to paint them up and then I'll get right back to you. All right, we're back. Um, I said I'd cut another one and I did and here it is. This is painted white already so you can see already that it's much, much nicer. Now, as a reminder, if you're cutting things this um, intricate, they are fragile and they can break really easy. I did a little test on the one that I messed up and it it just shattered as soon as I started pulling on things, so be careful. But anyway, we painted this white, and we painted the background green. Now, this paint is this stuff, and this is just an acrylic paint from Dollar Tree. Uh, it is called Archaeology. Acrylology, maybe. It is an acrylic. It actually, this is one coat. Um, I could use two coats on that. You can see it's a little thin. But when we put this over top, it's you're not going to notice any of that, so I didn't put a second coat. But on this instance, I, I, I wouldn't, but some instances I would. And as I said, these are really fragile. This TER is really ready to fall out, so i got to be careful with this. All right, we're going to go ahead and tilt you down, and I'm going to grab another Dollar Tree item. Two more Dollar Tree items, in fact. This is just one of their little paint trays. And I like to use it for glue and paint and things like that. Um, the fragile nature of this, I'd rather I'd rather uh, use a paintbrush and not try to just glue straight to it and just dab it real carefully. This is tacky glue. This is also from the Dollar Tree, and I've tried it, and it seems to dry clear, so that's why we're using it, and it's really strong. So we're gonna go ahead and flip over. This guy and a TER just fell out. It's okay, we'll fix that when it comes to time. When we put it together, we'll, we'll fix that. So I'm just gonna go ahead and get some areas here with glue. I'm getting the areas I think need to stick down the most. I'm not painting the whole thing because that would just be silly. Uh, with glue, less is more. You know, especially glue that you're not 100% certain is gonna dry clear. But this stuff, I did test it. It takes a while, but it does dry clear. So we're going to go around most of the outside edge. I should have something underneath this. I don't. But you don't have to get every little tiny piece. We will get the TER, but we'll get that once we place this. We're not putting any glue on the green uh, surface because we don't need to. Now, I would tell you if you're making more than one of each of these, you should paint your boards before you cut. And the reason you would want to do that is because uh, it just gets to be tedious painting otherwise. I'll paint some in that heart line there. Your main goal here is just to make sure you're getting enough, <clears throat> but not too much. We've got much up in this area. Let's get some up in there. And it doesn't look like a ton of glue, but it will definitely stick. So we're going to go ahead, get this out of the way. Bring our green piece over and just put it on top. Then we'll make sure it's all lined up and then we'll put the TE on there. We'll glue it and put it on there. Now that looks pretty good. So we'll get some more glue. I poured out too, way too much glue in here. Make sure that TE is glued really good. The good thing about what we're doing here 
is that we if we make that kind of mistake and things break it's easy to just glue them back on and nobody will be the wiser that lined up really nice uh, there are some cups of glue under there uh, but they should disappear with the uh, drying process. I just seen a couple big giant clumps and I don't want big giant clumps. So I'll pull them out of there. This is just a pick I got in a set of picks. There's different kinds. I don't have another one handy, but they come from Walmart and they're uh, good hard metal picks and they work for lots of different things. So, all right, we're going to let this thing dry. We're going to put it on a stand so you guys can see it. But that is the final product. It is a nice uh, little product. And you can see the T might be a little higher. We should adjust that a tiny bit. And again, I'm going to take the pick and just move that down. It's already stuck. So we're going to leave it just like it is. It's stuck already, so we're going to leave it that way. It doesn't look bad, and except for the fact that I did it, is probably the only reason I notice it. Uh, so there you go. It is glued together, and that glue is already starting to stick really good. If you need to, you can put little clips on it. Uh, guess where these came from? The Dollar Tree. Um, I don't have the proper clips right now, but this will hold it enough to uh, keep that glue together. And these come in, I think, 8 or 12 packs I can't remember but there's quite a few in there and you can do the small stuff with them I wouldn't recommend them for anything thicker than eighth inch material this is two pieces of eighth inch uh, sandwich together so that's that's double that whatever that comes to but folks that is it that is the video I uh, hope you liked it don't forget if you do want your own Glowforge there is that link down below subscribe if you haven't already uh, hit that like button and leave us a comment. We'll be forever grateful. You folks have a good day.